Hey everyone and welcome back to Besiege. Last time we had left off we had beat the introductory three worlds. We uh, ended up getting to, I think it was right here, to the perimeter wall. The uh, I asked everybody what sort of vehicle or what sort of siege destruction death machine that we should build uh, for the next set of three levels. And everybody was kind of torn between two things. Oh, by the way, they were TIE Fighters. That's what they were. The little saw blades of death. These things. TIE Fighters is what these look like. I just... Let's just see what happens. Okay, that's awesome. I love that. I'll never stop loving that. But we need to build something actual today. So everybody was saying uh, really between two things. Um, I kept seeing a lot of people saying tank uh, or catapult. So, you know, this isn't going to come as a surprise. Let's build a tank catapult. I want to build some sort of like... Uh, I don't know, um, like really low to the ground, kind of stocky, uh, catapult. I want it to be as like thin and slim and as not like as unassuming as possible. And then I want, I want like an arm to just flip up and to just throw a bomb. So I want it to look totally like a tank and then it to have like a really secretive arm in it. So uh, that's what I think I'm going to do here. That's that's the plan. That's the goal. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a first pass. Actually, let's try and see if we can do this on camera. So I want to move this down and forward. I think this is going to be the base of the arm. So to do this, I think I'm going to take this out too. Uh, then come in here. Let's add some spinning. So I, I kind of have an idea. I want it to be like a mechanical thing that way I don't have to worry about like super reinforcement that's all one piece that is um okay um so that way I don't have to worry about like super reinforcing it and whatnot like I'm still gonna have to reinforce it don't get me wrong but it's not gonna be like the insanity of reinforcing it that I would you know have to do if we were using those contractible strings springs strings um so there we go. There's kind of like the flame frame. So if we then come here and say we put, I don't know, like the arm there, then they added some new large wheels. So let's just go ahead and add these in. I think this might be a little excessively long. I'll admit again, this is just the first pass. This is the first pass. So, okay. Apparently that's not connected. Let's try to, <laughs> let me try to get that connected on. I thought we tested that already. So here's take number two, flip that around. Okay, there we go. And yeah, yeah. So you can see that would flip up and then I'd be able to put that down. That's a little slow. Oh, I know what we can do. We can adjust the speed. So let's up the speed of this and that. And then let's just go ahead and put the weapon on it so we can do our first, like, real test. Um, they're shooting arrows, so this might go badly. Uh, oh, oh, idea. Let me use braces instead of blocks. That'll make the weight of this lighter. Also, we can use a, a ballast on the bottom to be the weight and then or to be the the center point that we connect everything to adjust the weight all the way down that way it's nice and light and then we can mount this thing like reinforce it like that so then let's set this on the ground okay and then did I not okay wait what's the button Okay, so we definitely have movement. That's good. What what are these key bound to? Left and right. Left, left. Okay, so I just have to hold left. Oh, it's trying to pivot off the wrong point. What the heck? How is... I don't understand this. I don't understand it. So if we take these braces off, does it work? Hey! It kind of worked! Yeah, that's good. And then we can just put the arm back down. And I mean, right now, all we have is forward and back. 
So let's add some steering to this. I'll do this part off camera and try to reinforce this and make it a little bit better. But hey, it's working at least. Yeah. So I was doing a little bit of research on the besieged Reddit. I keep calling it besieged. It's besiege. There's no D on the end. I was doing some research on the besiege Reddit and uh, I found a interesting way that people have been using to steer. So they in order to make the arrow keys work they'll come in here and they'll go uh, like this wheel whenever it activates this outside wheel will activate which will then cause um, like if if the other side I'm pointing at the screen I gotta use my mouse if this side's going forward and this side's going back we will spin to the left so this going forward is left this going in reverse makes us go right so we go left right hopefully I'm doing this correctly left right and then this is right left I think I'm backwards we're gonna see right left and then we leave the outside wheels as the forward wheels and then I added a little bit more bracing and blah 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 so I think this is all good so here we go let's go ahead and shut that off I hit this uh, oh I gotta rebind that okay hang on hang on let's use the one and three keys on the numpad so here we go so let's go ahead and the entire thing just came off <laughs> okay <laughs> okay that was intended okay so then we'll just put that back down and then I'm gonna try to control this okay it is backwards uh... oh gosh why is this so stuttery to control Okay, okay, hang on. Uh, let me let me uh, fix the backwardsness and then play around with this a little bit more. Okay, so I've been playing with it a bit more. Uh, we're still having problems with the, the, the holder flying off, but I actually want to do something else real quick. I want to try... Uh, so the steering worked here. Let me actually put these all back on. Um, please still have the same key binds? They don't. Well, the steering worked... Uh, but only kind of. Uh, so I want to, kind of like what you guys were seeing earlier, it just kind of dra drug, dra dragged. Uh, it just drug itself along. It wasn't very accurate. It was kind of slow and um, it didn't have like a really good feel to it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to try putting small wheels on the inside of these larger wheels to see if I can use that to get a little bit more uh, tight control so if we want to go to the right this needs to go forward so this goes right left right left right left okay and I'm gonna do this on the other side okay so the steering's been handled I'm gonna throw this bomb and then I'm gonna try to drive we're, we're aiming to create like the best drive train right here that's what we're what we're trying to do so okay that didn't really perfect Oh, and I hit spacebar. Just, just kill them, please. Ah! Good enough. Okay, so reverse for sure works. We knew that. And turning works, and there's no drag. Wow. It kind of slides when it goes to turn, though. Interesting. interesting this is actually some this is pretty good I'm happy with this and then ka -chunk. oh hey it hit the other one that's awesome well we beat the level we created like a catapult oh gosh okay well at least it works ish um <laughs> okay next level what are we doing with oh gosh okay this one's a pain in the butt uh, well, it's a good thing that we're deciding to go with the tank here. Uh, let me get an idea of what we're going to be building to counter this, and uh, we'll go from there. Actually, I just want to see. Can we hit those archers in the back? It does. I just it keeps dropping it. Why does it do that? Well, I can hit the. Okay, I can kind of hit the archers in the back. Kind of. And we can put this down. 
And then, I, I, I mean, I'm sure I can just run over these dudes. Is it, is it, no, it can't be this easy. I really like these new big tires, though. <laughs> I just, like, mounted a whole bunch of them. It seems like this is a pretty, I don't know, tanky design? What if I, can I crunch them? Smack, smack, smack. That worked pretty well, too. I think I can beat this just by running into the dudes. Hey, look at that! And we're, like, zero damage. We're not broken. Can we go run over this archer real quick? Bam! I got the archer. This is controlling really well, too. Like, I'm really satisfied with, like, the double wheel. But, like, whenever we did the wheel-on-wheel -wheel action earlier, that sounds all sorts of dirty. Um, like, if we put a wheel in the back here... Like, you can see it actually touches the ground, which is why we're turning. So whenever we had the inside wheel and outside wheel, see, look here at the inside wheels, they're not turning. So whenever we had the big wheels on there, they were just dragging on the ground, which was causing all sorts of weirdness trying to control it. Uh, so this, is, this is far better. I like this a lot. Great job, team. Good ideas. Let's move on to the next zone. Um, okay. Oh, gosh, I still have a giant fat wheel on the back. Okay, so... I wonder, can we can we use the bomb to... Why are you rolling backwards? That makes no sense! The explosion was from this side! I don't understand you, game physics. Okay, well, I think this one will be pretty easy, too. I can just, like, there's one, then can I, I can put this down, and then scoot it in. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Great job. Hmm. Well, I said that we're going to do three an episode, and I'm going to hold true to that. This has been besieged. This is, I wonder, can we, I just want to see, like, can, there's actually one more thing that I've been meaning to test, and uh, I think I can do that here with you guys now. Um, I have been playing around with the concept of making, like, a structureless uh, design, I guess, uh, like a zero structure siege tank, right, using only ballasts since they seem to have like zero um oh gosh i can't place it there i have to it says there's an intersection the heck can i do it like this can i do it super cheaty okay apparently not um We'll just, we'll just build it like this. Okay, so the regular wooden uh, blocks seem to have, like, life or durability on them somehow. And it seems like whatever mechanic it is that's giving them life and durability also makes them really vulnerable to breaking. Um, so I wanted to see if we build an entire tank out of the siege parts. Okay, so first thing's an issue is these aren't connected properly um yeah why is that not connected okay i'm gonna connect this i'm gonna connect this and then we're gonna see what happens so here's kind of what i was thinking uh frameless I, I don't know what else to call it like blockless like it doesn't use the wooden block so i've got the the ballasts all over it and actually i want to up this ballast uh for extra weight so when whenever we throw our cannon arm it stays weighted down in the back uh so there's nothing to break like there's only the bonds between the ballasts and the what is it the brace braces that runs a risk of actually breaking so i just want to see like it seems to be holding up we're relatively quick i still have control if i throw my arm nothing breaks what if i like slam my arm back and forth okay i can still <laughs> i can still shake myself apart so anyways 
thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, this has been Besieged. Besiege with no D. And I will see you in episode three.